Uh, yo guys, what is up? Today I have my first little con with others, with someone other than Lloyd. Why don't you uh, go introduce yourself? Yo guys, what's up? It's Killswitch. It's a little nice little introduction there, con sir. Thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> we did a dual con on one of his videos. It'll be on his channel. Uh, link will be in description and it'll be annotated so you can click it. But today we have some demolition on Havana. I'll be using Commando, pretty much sexy gun. Very sexy gun. As soon as I hit 44, I do nothing but no life it. Uh, I think I was using Lightweight Slide of Hand Ninja. We were on a two bar, and I hate two bar. <laughs> yeah, I believe this game there was a bunch of Puerto Ricans, and if you are Puerto Rican, go ahead and click out of this video and F you. Uh, I did manage to get a pretty nice score on a two bar, which actually surprised me. The people were fucking garbage, not gonna lie. I am very much. <laughs> I am playing with Kill Switch and Dante, so. And I believe this video was recorded in me and Dante's last prestige. And what prestige were you in this game? I was 8th. And you're ninth now, aren't you? I'm 10th. Oh, Jesus. Uh, basically, we need to explain how we play demo, which is... Uh, we, we do it to maximize the time when we have a full party, but we weren't... Uh, in a full party, it was just me and Dante and Kill Switch. Pretty much, it's a Kill Horror way. It's pretty much uh, goats. It goes down like this: if we're defending, we go. If they start planning and we're in a full party, we let them get it. But then we don't let them get the other one. We just keep killing them, and then we just save it. We win that round. Then the next round. Uh, we should be attacking, I believe. And when we attack, we chill for a little bit, don't plant yet. And then we plant, and then we chill out until about a minute is left on the clock. We plant the next bomb, we win. And then the next game, uh, depending on whether we defend or lose, we just take one or let them have one, and then we win that game, usually. Uh, it's, you can cry, bitch and moan all you want. If you don't like it, don't watch it. Just click away. We've been doing this since Modern Warfare 2, and we were playing for the objective. We're just holding it off and playing it in a way we can get a lot of experience and a lot of kills. Yeah, this is the best way, because everyone's asking on tutorials on how to rank up fast. This is, this is how you rank up fast. This is how Shire has gone through a hearty... 10 prestiges already. And the game's only been out two months? Yeah, I believe on 5th prestige, level 46. Uh, but since we're just us three, there's a little different strategy we have to do, and we don't get to kill her as much, but we still do a lot of damage by getting a lot of kills. And also the reason why we play like how I explained is we're in a full party of Six people who are all really good. Katie's above 2.0. And think about it. How many? You're not going to get much kills if we rush the objectives. Usually, when we do that, how we play, everyone gets above 50 kills. And if we did it to where how everyone says we should, people would most likely get 15 kills. And nobody wants to play a game mode for five minutes and then. That's, that's ridiculous. And if you're anything like me, you like your long games. And I'm not a fan of ending my games early, especially when I'm doing great. Exactly. And, but, I'll go ahead. <laughs> but you just, I don't know, you, when you're doing good, you know, and it gives you time to get your kill streaks out because there's nothing I hate more than one guy calling in all his kill streaks one after another. So this this way sometimes we, you know, I'm calling my chopper first next round and then someone goes after that and but usually for our for our team we usually just 
if you call it in, you call it in. It's yours, but usually we'll kind of get a little organized with our kill streak calling in. And usually we all run different kill streaks, but the main kill streaks we normally run spot plane and blackbirds. It's definite given. Very much. We one game had literally twenty four seven blackbird, and I cried for them. I felt so bad after that. I sent them all internet cookies. Uh, if you want to know how bad spawn camping can get in Demolition and how fast we can get Blackbirds, upload a little spawn raping video on the other channel, which I will link. And it's pretty bad because demo spawns are pretty terrible because they don't flip. <laughs> Anyways, on to a new subject that is not COD related. Or actually, one more about the map pack. Me and Shire are both PlayStation players for life and I heard about the map pack and I got pumped I was like yes I like new maps I don't like playing the same ones over and over I like variety so I heard about it I went and researched it and the maps are way more interactive there's an actual zip line you can use a destructive bridge you can use and if you haven't seen any of this yet and you think I'm a liar it's probably the greatest thing they have ever done and you should check it out it's like the greatest map pack i think i've ever seen and it's not them rehashing new or old maps and putting them into a new map pack it's four new maps plus a new zombie map so it's well worth uh 1200 microsoft points or 15 dollars i think except for the shitty fact that who gets it first uh, 360. For many years in a row they have gotten that, which if you Xbox people who are watching this say, oh yeah, we deserve it, I pay as much as you to get my map pack. I think everyone deserves to get it at the same time. That's it's not fair to me, but uh, I guess I don't control COD, so it's not up to me. It's Microsoft blowing Activision, basically. But oh, I know. You, Microsoft needs to take that long cock out of their mouth. But uh, moving on, we've been looking at some new games coming out, because COD isn't the only game that comes out. And there's quite a few that's coming out that actually look worth playing, like Dead Space 2 and Fear 3. Ooh, let me talk about Dead Space 2. <laughs> Dead yeah. Space 2, if you have not played the first one, Dead Space is an action horror video game, which if you're thinking, ew, that sounds lame, it probably was the greatest game I ever played. I played it while Modern Warfare 2 was turning into the shit factor, and it's the greatest game ever. Um, the only time, the only bad thing I have to say about it is it was very short. I think it was both chapters, but the chapters aren't like, do this and you're done. It's like, do four things and then you're done. And this, it was a single player only game, and now I believe it's going to be a co op two player online, which is going to be awesome. And on my channel, I might do a play by play of it. But, yeah, if you haven't played the demo, do it. Uh, I shit my pants, I was on Skype. With kill switch here, and you heard my reaction. <laughs> I had to actually turn down the volume because he was screaming so loud. <laughs> it's not that bad, actually. It's not like what I thought it would be. It's actually a lot better than that. Uh, games these days actually are not that long, sadly. Like the only way you can get a good long game is if you play RPG, and even then, they're not that long. And. Some other games besides Dead Space 2, which I really want to get, and it's coming out on the 25th of January, so go and check it out. There should be a ton of videos on it by now. What's one of the other games that's coming out? Uh, Fear 3, which I haven't read much about. I know the new Elder Scrolls is coming out in November. 11, 11, 11, of course. 
going to be fucking awesome because I've been waiting for a new Elder Scrolls game for about four years now. And, and... go ahead. <laughs> oh, I love cutting him off. That deserves a rate right there. Um, Fear 3. Um, I did not play Fear 1. I was bored one weekend, looked up Fear 2, bought it, and played it, and that was a game that also was kind of an action horror. Not really that horror like Dead Space, but it's action-packed, and it was totally awesome. Um, it's single-player. There was an online, but when I had the game, it was out for a long time, and the only time you could play online was way early in the day and even then you could only go against like five or six people so that's not that fun but the single player was great I loved it and the ending was epic and if you haven't played Fear 2 go rent it, buy it, do whatever play it and then buy Fear 3 but uh, we're kind of running out of time so I'll kind of make my point a little quick here uh, if you have not played Elder Scrolls 4, which is Oblivion, I suggest you go rent it. It is by Bethesda, who made Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas, and you know how good those games are, so this game kind of has a lot to live up to in my eyes, because Elder Scrolls 3 and 4 are pretty damn good, just for the fact that you can go out and roam around and all that. You don't really have to do certain quests at a certain time, which is what I like. It's a little freedom in an RPG. So you got any closing thoughts to say? Um, since you had to mention that sexy game Fallout, um, if you have never even heard of the game Fallout, you have not played a video game. The game, I actually have my PS3 on, it's on right now. <laughs> Fallout 3 was one of the greatest games I've ever played. I know I say that a lot, but this really was an awesome, long game. Like I, I mean, I've beaten it, but it's awesome because you can beat the game and still play the game. And by that, I mean it still has missions you can do and quests, actually. And it's just an awesome game. And I have not played New Vegas yet, but my expectations are high and people already say it's good. So there we go. But, uh, that's all the time we have. Check out Killswitch's channel. It'll be in the link below. Expect a lot more dual comms between the two of us. And, uh, he loves me. I do. But uh, file score is 57 and 7. Hope you enjoyed it and peace out. And my final was 73 and 18, just in case you guys care. And I am out also.